Chess friends, how are you? I recently started my old channel where I haven't uploaded videos for 3 months, but from today, I will try to upload videos on my 3 channels every day, today, I have a very exciting game where I played against Leela Zero, this game I played in the Computer Rapid Championship event, and the game I chose is absolutely brilliant, before starting the game let me show you a puzzle, this is your today's puzzle, try to solve it and give answer in the comments. So, let's dive into the chess ocean because stockfish loves water, I started the game with e4, we have e6 e4 and Leela offers me french fries. You know many players are love to play french defense, c5 and these are all theories which I showing you by arrows, ok knight f3 pawn captured captured and black could take the pawn on d5, white will play bishop c4 and after the queen moves castle, black tries to defend the pawn with knight c6 but knight b3 can regain the pawn, she have natural developing moves and everything would be fine and beautiful like a branch of flowers rises in the garden, but my Leela doesn't like flower. She likes sword to glorious her name which is why she played a6 bishop, d6 and any human in this position might think of playing knight d7 at least once in the game, because human thought process is more creative rather than analyzing what is good or bad, but here will come rook e1, put a red carpet for the rook entry, knight f5 will attack all three castles simultaneously. And that is over for you, even if you find the best move knight f6 we will give him a check and knight back to h5, attacking to the knight and bishop g4 is the best, bishop e2 will follow but if you dare to exchange the knights then queen will arrive in kingside, and this will feel like boiling your own hand instead of fish curry, in a sudden move black might play rook g8, a very natural move to activate the rook, but here comes the thunderstorm attack, rook takes e6, sacrificing the rook. To play bishop h6, rook blocks knight to g5, attacking to the e6 and threatening to deliver checkmate, how can black survive the game? Even if he plays queen e8 then I will play knight h7 check, king g8 and knight f6 will be a fork, black will lose the queen and the game will end it soon and do you know a quote about life. You can change the ending to your book at any time, just remember that you are the author of your life. Leela played knight e7, try to secure his king with bodyguards, my plan is widely clear, expose the king and put my flag in her place, let's see how Leela defends her position, h5 followed by queen h5, the knight is coming to attack on her f7 pawn, even the queen can arrive on e5 to empower this rook file, the king is in the middle of the board, and I will not allow black to improve any minor pieces, she tried to improve his piece position and pause the video here. Tell me if you were black in this position, what you would consider to play. The first thing comes in the mind that knight to f6, tempo on the queen and open up the light bishop, but after queen h4 castle white can actually sacrifice his bishop. This bishop sacrifice is natural, you are attacking at the f6 knight, and the bishop and knight has a good combination to attack in the kingside along with this rook file, Black position will be poisonous as he tastes the formidan apple which was given by an old woman in fairy tale, if you know the story then don't ask me because I am also don't know the story, but yeah, black will lose so she played knight c5, removing one of my attacking piece. Bishop f5 and many of you might think of capturing the bishop, but after takes, the g7 pawn and the bishop is under attack as well as the bishop, castle is the right move as I can capture the g7 pawn because in chess, every impossible move is possible, king takes knight will result in a checkmate in three moves. Instead of spending your time thinking about what you do not want, spend your time thinking about what you want, so here, instead of playing castle, some higher rated players might think of playing g6, tempo on the pieces but after takes takes knight check, I will win back my queen and look at the black position, he have double pawns and pawn island which is like, Magnus is playing against you without bishop, undoubtedly you can defeat Magnus right, going back, Leela played king f8. Not castle because her first priority is to secure her king with armed forces, so after bishop exchanges I showed her my attitude, usually you have to show your attitude to girls if you wish to get some special respect, g6, queen h4. Knight e4 bishop f6, ok, if you dare to save the rook instead of capturing the bishop, then I will gift my knight to you, take my knight, here comes queen h6, king e8 queen takes d2 and look at the king, why the hell the king is located in center, 
I will double up my rooks at e-file and the attack will continue and friends if you are enjoying my content then just like and subscribe to my channel, going back to the position, we have knight captured captured. Attacking to the rook and knight e6 fork is coming, so Leela slides away her king, here I played find a brilliant move which is like, getting gold and diamond while gardening, you can pause the video and figure out that move for me, if you are thinking of sacrificing your rook by capturing the knight then congratulation, no one is more foolish than you, as a human you are so dumbass, the best move is to sacrifice your rook on e6, look how crazy this move is. Knight takes e6 and how can you prevent queen g7 checkmate? Even the knight can't protect it, because of queen takes check and the game will be over, if didn't find that move then don't worry, I gave a chess puzzle to you, solve that and I will pin your comment, so Leela played bishop c5, she want to exchange the queen by moving the knight, rook e1 knight c6 and I played bold move rook e8 check, we had big war in e8, knight takes c6 and capturing the knight will allow queen c6, attacking both of the pieces at the same time, and rook e1 isn't possible you know. So rook e6, queen c8, queen d5 rook captured knight e5, rook c7 and I sacrificed my knight on g6, the point is that after you capture it with the pawn queen e5 can win your rook, so back to the position, if you dare to capture with the king, we will give him a check to d3, the king has 1 2 3 4 places to go, let me show you all the lines one by one, first of all king f6 is ignorant move because of queen c3. And king g7 is a dumbass move because of queen g3. So if you play king h5, then after queen f5 check king here g3 will be a checkmate, going back, if king g5 happen, then we will play h4 check, again the king can't go to the f6 square. And if you dare to move the king to the f4 square then queen g3 simply wins the rook. If king h5 happen then queen f5, king h4 g3 will result in the same checkmate, going back. I am completely winning the game here, she played very nicely but I can win every game because I am the god of chess, and if you haven't subscribed to my other channels then what are you waiting for, I will put link in description, go and subscribe, and don't forget to solve the chess puzzle which I given to you. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.